Okay, so this is my uh, black MacBook again. We're here to do a quick tutorial on how to uh, switch the RAM out if you're upgrading your RAM. Someone sent me a message saying they wanted to see this. Not, uh, not entirely sure why, because there's a ton of videos up on YouTube uh, telling you how to go through this procedure, but I figured it only takes a couple minutes, so I figured I'd do a quick one. Um, you saw my other video, you've already heard me complain about the fingerprints. It hasn't been wiped down in a couple days. That's, uh, that's what you get. So, um, just real quick, in my opinion, there are more or less uh, three types of people in this world. There are the type of people that when they do a procedure like this, take the utmost care to uh, take every precaution and do it uh, exactly the way you're supposed to. Then there are people that have a complete blatant disregard for the proper procedure, just don't care at all. And then there are people that kind of do well enough. So that's uh, what we're going to follow today. We're going to do well enough. Uh, I'm not going to be wearing a uh, like a static-free wrist strap or anything like that to protect this RAM when I touch it, but I'm also not going to uh, take a walk downstairs into my basement, take a load of clothes out of the dryer, put a wool sweater on, go eat some Cheetos, and then drag my feet across the carpet when I come in here into the bedroom and uh, take these RAM sticks out. So Use common sense. Try not to touch the pins. Don't wear a wool sweater or anything like that. Uh, ground your hand, your feet, just touch something to the ground before you touch these. Discharge any static that you might have in your body. And uh, you should be fine if you follow those simple rules. So just use common sense, you won't damage anything. What do you need in order to do this as we move on? You need a little uh, little Phillips head screwdriver. Not quite as small as an eyeglass size, but I don't know, a couple sizes up from that. Uh, you need a coin. I don't happen to have a coin. I'm not that poor, but I uh, happen to have a guitar pick right here. So. I'm going to just take this, put it in a little slot over here, twist it uh, clockwise one quarter turn, battery pops right up, just pop the battery right out, and then we gain access to the little uh, area over here where the RAM, RAM slots are. So the RAM slots are behind this little metal L bracket which runs down this side and then down here. Okay, We're going to need to remove three screws in order to get this L bracket out. You may very well notice that there are instructions on the inside of your MacBook on how to do this, but you know what the heck, we'll make a video anyways. Um, screw number one, two, and three. We're going to take them out, pull the L bracket out, and then you'll see that the uh, the RAM slots and consequently the uh, RAM sticks themselves are right behind there. So, get going with that. So we have the L bracket over here removed, and you can see the RAM slots are exposed. These little uh, little cards over here, that's the actual RAM. So what you're going to do in order to remove one is take this little lever over here and just flip it towards the left, and you're going to see the RAM just slides right out, just pops right out. That's it. Okay. When you go to install the new RAM, make sure that this little slot, see the little slot right there, is on the left hand side and all you're going to do is just slide it in and you're going to have to push okay don't mess with this uh... this lever or anything just push you might want to try to ease it in on one side first and then the other side you're going to have to give it a good amount of force don't feel like you're going to break anything you're not going to break anything and you'll feel it it's not going to click or anything but you'll feel it when it slides in and um, a little tough to do with one hand you might want to try to push both uh... both sides in at once but you'll know it you'll know it when it goes in Okay. Um, and again, this little lever isn't to, uh, it's not going to go go back in when you have it in all the way or anything like that. That's just to, to let them slide out. So that's it. Take them both out, put the new ones in, make sure they're pushed in all the way. Again, they're not going to click or anything, but you'll feel when they're, uh, when they slid into place. And that's that. The only thing left to do, just uh, take the cell bracket, put it back in, pop the battery in, you are done. When you turn on your MacBook, it should recognize the new RAM. If um, if you turn it on and the little sleep light just illuminates and you don't get an apple, the uh, the startup tone or anything like that, it's not seated right. Pull it out, put it back in. Um, make sure that it's seated correctly. There's a number of pins on the end of that uh, that little ram stick, so they all have to be in the uh, in the right place and they all have to be pushed in nice and tight. So that is that. As usual, any questions, comments, anything else you want to see, let me know. Thanks for watching.